Hello and welcome back to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. Today, myself, Masha. Theodore, hello. Uh, we will answer uh, frequently asked questions that we get on our email, uh, which is why binoculars uh, use prisms. So, Theodore, why? Yeah. <laughs> well, the question is like all over Google, all over yeah, our emails, yeah. we are sometimes really shocked uh, that so many people are uh, asking this question. Yeah. Uh, there are two reasons if I really go down to basics and not into too many details. So the first thing is, if you would wish to make a binoculars without the prisms, so the normal Galilean binoculars, you would need a much longer distance between the eyepiece lens and objective lens. Normally, now binoculars are far more complicated. You have many lenses, yeah. additional lenses in the whole optical construction. But basically, the prisms are used to shorten this distance between the objective lens and eyepiece lens. Okay. Because the light, uh, well, it bounces inside mm -hmm. of the prism, so it travels the same distance, but physically in a shorter form. Yeah, yeah. So optically, it's still a longer path, but physically it's shorter, so that binoculars can be m more handy, smaller, yeah, compactor. Yeah. You're able to, to carry them around and so on, because uh, if you would have a normal binoculars without the prism, they would be like half a meter long, and yeah. then you're not able to carry them around your neck. This okay. is the first reason. The second reason is that uh, each lens turns the image upside down. Mm -hmm. So when you look through the objective lens, the image gets turned upside down and then the prism, prisms turn it back okay. upside up and so yeah. on. And because there are many lenses now in modern binoculars inside, the prisms are just one of the steps where the, the mm -hmm. image gets turned around. Okay. So, so that when you get the image into your eyes, yeah. it's normally orientated. So uh, it's the same like with uh, cameras. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The same. Uh, um, what about the types of prisms? Because we don't have only one single type. Yeah. There are many. Yeah? Uh, we have uh, three different types. So basically two different types, poro and roof prisms. Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, the difference is that the uh, alignment of eyepiece and objective lens is different with poro. So you see that uh, eyepieces are... In uh, the different optical axis yeah. than the objective lens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and with roof prisms, we have uh, eyepiece and objective aligned uh, in the same axis. Yeah. Um, and then we have, so poro and roof prisms, and then we have poro, uh, roof prism, sorry, in two types. So yeah. Abe Koenig and schmidt packen so basically, we have three types of prisms. Yeah. Poro, Schmidt and Pehan, yeah. and, and Abe Koenig. Yes. But Schmidt and Pehan and Abe Koenig, they form a group of roof, roof prisms, prisms because when you look at them physically, it looks they yeah. look like a roof. They are in the same, yeah, uh, yeah, the prisms and they are in the same. Uh, and they're aligned, yeah, yeah in the axis. same optical axis. Yeah. Now let's talk about the poro prisms. So okay. some characteristics. We already have quite a few videos about this, so we'll be really yeah. short here. So the poro prisms are a little bit older. They were um, well invented by Ignazio Poro, an Italian uh, inventor, and they were they are used mainly now in an old-fashioned binoculars because mm -hmm. in the last twenty years they are more or less yeah. dying out. <clears throat> the reason for it is that they are quite bulky, maybe not with this vintage yeah, Swarovski, this but is... with this Steiner Night Hunter, they are quite big and bulky and heavy and heavy, yeah. uh, even though the new Abbe Koenig prisms and the new binoculars with multiple lenses can be even heavier. Yeah. They are affordable, easier to produce than, poor, uh, than roof prisms, uh, and they are very bright mm -hmm. because the light transmission rate is still the highest with poro prisms. Uh, what is also, I would say, interesting with poro prisms is that if they have central focusing mechanism, the waterproofness is not the best mm -hmm. because, as you can see on this uh, Swarovski, when you use the central focusing, the eyepieces move up and down, and it's really hard to, to make them waterproof. Yeah, the air comes... Uh, yeah. yeah. When, when the eyepieces go up, the whole construction is sucking in yeah. the air. When the eyepieces go down, the construction is pushing out mm -hmm. the air because the volume changes inside. Yeah. Um, so with central focusing, it's really bad waterproofness. With individual focusing, is completely the opposite. With individual focusing, you have the best waterproofness. <laughs> so all marine binoculars, 7x50, they're all poor prism and individual focusing. Yeah, yeah. And then they're fully waterproof. So these are the common 
features of four prisons. Okay. Now you can explain, let's say, the features of Schmidt and Pechan prisons. Yeah. So um, when comparing them to uh, Abe Koenig prisms, mm -hmm. these are more uh, less expensive to produce. Yeah. Uh, they are. Um, more uh, more common than uh, Abe Koenig. Majority of binoculars yeah. are made with this. Uh, yeah, nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, they are more compact and light. Um, yeah. So All pocket binoculars feature yes. Schmidt and Beckham prism. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also lower light transmission rate in comparison yeah. to um, Abe Koenig. So the Poro is the most, the brightest. Yes. Then and it's Abe Koenig yeah, and, and then it's Schmidt and Beckham. Yeah. And Abe Koenig. And these are more expensive to produce. So fewer mm. uh, binoculars, uh, I would say more uh, premium uh, manufacturers produce uh, abeconic prisms. Basically only Zeiss, yeah. Swarovski with the yeah. SOC, Doctor when they were still in business, mm -hmm. now they're not anymore. And Blazer. Blazer, yeah. And now in last two years or three years, a couple of uh, Japanese manufacturers because yeah. you have one Vortex model, yeah. And you have one DD optics model, I think. Yeah. And that's it regarding the Abe Koenig prisms. Yeah, so Even though for me personally, Zeiss, Swarovski and, and Blazer, and then it's almost uh, yeah. no one else. Yeah. Um, in physical... Uh, yeah, these are longer, heavier than... Yeah. You uh, can immediately see the, yeah, the height the difference. difference and yeah. They're always longer yeah. and produced only in EU and Japan. Yeah. Okay, I think we covered everything. Yes. Um, so now you know why binoculars use prisms, so that they are shorter and that the image is orientated the right way up. And that's about it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Bye.